The devastating epidemic of jaundice in the year 1956 in Delhi, which distressed the nation on a large scale, called for an urgent need for establishing a research institute on public health in this country. Rising to the occasion, the engineers and scientists of CSIR established Safari, the Central Public Health Engineering Research Institute, in the year 1958, under the dynamic leadership of Sri N. V. Modak, then chairman of the Public Health Engineering Research Committee of CSIR as its founder director. As the institute progressed accentuating the national priorities of urban and rural areas, the scope and mandate of Safari also advanced towards new horizons. Realizing the need for a broader vision, Srimati Indira Gandhi, the then Prime Minister of India and President CSIR, during her first visit to the institute on the 2nd of January 1974, renamed Safari as NIRI, the National Environmental Engineering Research Institute. Situated amongst the thick forest in the orange city Nagpur, it has a decisive origin and a distinctive past that encompasses the entire vistas of R&D in the field of environmental engineering, science and technology. Nisargo Rakshati Rakshitaha You protect nature. Nature will protect you. Defend to be sheltered. Protect to be protected. Save nature to save thyself. As we navigate through the technological and industrial revolution of the present era, surpassing and overriding all the ethical norms for economical security, science has changed radically from basics to frontiers of fusion and rapidly changing technological development has put a price tag that was neither anticipated nor envisaged. Deteriorating the global environmental quality threatening the very existence of the human species on Earth. Unkind industrial and economic progress has brought us to the brink of global disaster, breaking all the barriers. We have overlooked the environmental values that help sustenance of our existence on this planet Earth. We have been overriding all the natural and environmental norms, overriding the principle of green chemistry and a technological approach to achieve financial security. In our zeal for industrial and economic growth, we have ignored the basic laws of nature. We have polluted our rivers, felled our trees, created xenobiotics and used up energy resources. Mahatma Gandhi once said, Nature has enough for everyone's need, but not for man's greed. We now face the consequence of this and need to deal with global warming, excessive to scanty rains, melting glaciers and rising sea levels. The entire phenomenon is directly attributed to violation of nature's law of self-sustenance on Earth. Development and progress are essentials of life, but not at the cost of environmental disasters. With a sudden upsurge of unknown diseases like bird flu, or the recent tsunami in South Asian countries, is by sure nature's signals to intellectuals to act now before it is too late. Slowly and steadily we are progressing towards unknown darkness, and the time has come to correct what has been wrongly done and surge ahead with care and caution. The principles of green must not be violated any further. Unplanned economic development will only lead us towards disaster. And hence, now, 
the stress must be economy that is in tune with ecology, development that helps diversified interest, progress that has provisions, and research that leads to sustainable development. Unless we follow the path of sustainable development, nature may finally take over to repeat the history of evolution. At Niri, with its headquarters at Nagpur and five zonal centers located at Chennai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Kolkata and Mumbai, the concern for a sustainable future is more than just a fond hope. The vision and the mission It is the vision and the mission that has transformed Neri from a specialized research institute into an active partner in protecting the future. A future that is threatened by polluted air, by putrid water in poisoned rivers and lakes, on denuded land and sterile soil. Neri is striving hard to provide scientific solutions that will sustain life on Earth tomorrow. Neri's founding and successive directors have contributed to its strength and expertise by providing dynamic leadership with the continued support of various divisions dedicated to extensive research on many environmental aspects. Taking Neri from strength to strength is its present director, Dr. Sukumar Devota. Welcome to NIRI, National Environmental Engineering Research Institute at Nagpur. We are one of the 38 laboratories under the CSIR, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. NIRI is dedicated to sustainable development. We are working in the various areas towards sustainable development. Our economy is doing well, our industries are fairly comfortable, balance of payment is not an issue, foreign currency reserve is not an issue, but the environment has become a focus for many people, including Neri. The turning point for Indian environment is the Bhopal gas tragedy. After that, the environment has become a, a talk for all common men and the media, 1986 saw the introduction of Environment Protection Act, extending all the previous acts and now there are spate of laws and rules and regulations, acts, treaties on environment. There is no depth of law. We still have some problem on the implementation of these laws. We still have problem of the willingness on the part of the stakeholders including industries to implement some of these laws and rules and regulations. This is where NIDI comes in. We try to bridge the gap between the expectations and the willingness. Solutions at NIRI are as versatile as the environment itself. NIRI is proud to have achieved significant breakthroughs doing in-depth studies of air water, land and forests in correcting the problems of yesterday, finding solutions for today and giving sustainable technologies for tomorrow. Exhaustive data on air quality monitoring of metropolitan cities of India has empowered NIRI to help maintain the air quality standards for delineation of air pollution management plans on a national level. Confound air quality in urban cities is the prime suspect affecting general health of species with chemicals and toxic trace metals found beyond acceptable limits in the air. Stringent actions on NIRI's recommendations based on source apportionment studies have helped the government 
in suggesting remedial measures to keep the air clean. Constant interactions between the Central Pollution Control Board and its allied state units, NIRI has been helpful not only in generating a national database on air quality, but also in the implementations of various remedial measures to provide clean air nationwide. Scientific analytical equipment designed and developed at NIRI, such as air samplers, organic vapor samplers and respirable dust samplers are being used extensively by NIRI and various research organizations for their accuracy and simplified workability in the assessment of air quality. At NIRI the problems of today and the challenges of tomorrow are dealt with with equal ease. Committed to societal aspirations, NIRI scientists have come forward to provide solutions on water quality assessment and purification. Be it field testing of arsenic or iron removal, defluoridation by the Nalgonda technique or simple slow sand filtration. The journey of scientific research with simple technologies by NIRI has helped the people of remote areas in a candid way. In the recent floods at Barmer in Rajasthan, NIRI was called in to provide quick solutions to purify water for drinking purposes. The NIRI Char technique provided big relief to the poor local population. Respecting ancient Indian culture, NIRI has provided valuable findings and solutions to clean the river Ganga and the river Yamuna. Sharing responsibilities towards our nation, NIRI is committed to contributing to society with far-reaching results and to provide relief to the underprivileged. Provisions of sustained water resources management in remote Himalayan villages with specific reference to rainwater harvesting and environmental protection of natural streams for safe drinking water supply using NIRI's slow sand filtration technology has been installed successfully by NIRI. In addition, the supply and distribution of drinking water has been designed using natural gravity through public stand post with available resources a step towards sustainable development. Recycling of resources for environmental conservation is perhaps one of the most sought-after solutions based on principles of better management, wastewater treatment of industrial effluents or municipal wastewater. Solutions by NIRI are front-runners all over. Many such CETPs designed and developed by NIRI for all types of industries is indeed an achievement par excellence. Be it for textiles, leather tanneries, municipal corporations, fertilizers or petroleum refineries. If there is a problem, NIRI has a solution which is clean, green and sustainable. O oh, powerful waters, I might have violated the laws of nature, knowingly or unknowingly, foolishly or impudently. Take away whatever is wrong or deficient in me. Aging is inevitable and so is development. As the population of our nation grows, Needs and consumptions grow too, leading to exploitation of natural resources. An unplanned and unscientific approach to this leads to depletion of non-renewable natural resources, creating mine spoil dumps, polluting water bodies, poisoning farms and fields, and receding eco-sensitive mangroves where biodiversity thrives. 
At NIRI, restorations are based on bioremediation and applying the principles of nature's law of self-sustenance. In collaboration with Moil, Manganese or India Limited, NIRI has successfully revegetated mine spoil dumps to lush green forests in a short span using bioremediation so much so that the animals and bird species from neighboring areas have started migrating to otherwise a barren stripped mine soil dump at Gumgaon. Neri's technology has equally worked wonders for iron mine spoil dumps, zinc tailing sites and coal mines, all changed into exuberant forests bringing back the glory of nature. With a firm belief in bioremedial solutions for environmental care, various studies have been conducted at Neri, such as bioremediation of chemically contaminated as well as silt affected agricultural land at Kandla and Goa respectively. The development of chemo biochemical processes for treatment of industrial emissions, deodorization of industrial emission of pyridine and chlorobenzyme, an integrated green chemistry based biotechnological approach for the treatment of high organic containing wastewater from the food industry finding solutions for the safe disposal of hazardous waste. Neri has successfully developed the protocol for Zwari Industries for the safe disposal of hazardous waste containing arsenic. At Neri, we do not find solutions, we simply invent them. And perhaps this is what makes Neri stronger day by day biodegradable plastics from wastewater, anaerobic production of hydrogen and remediation of a degraded ecosystem. At NIRI, analytical techniques for detection of dioxins and furans, which are highly toxic organic pollutants found in parts per trillion levels, has also been developed successfully. Similarly, tap attachable gadgets for removing persistent organic pollutants. POPs, like pesticides, have also been developed at Neri. And the search goes on with the wisdom of light. When the judiciary needs the facts to provide judgment, when industry needs processes for remedial measures, when the civic authorities need wastewater treatment plants to save precious water and when the nation needs clean air, potable water, thick forest and a self-sustained environment, Neri stands tall and firm. Using wastewater from a parboiled rice mill for aquaculture and low-cost fish feed developed as a source of income for the locals has been successfully developed and demonstrated by Neri in Gondia, Maharashtra for the benefit of the rural population. Some of the projects which Neri is involved in include assessment of GHG, greenhouse gas emissions, example methane from municipal solid waste dump sites and carbon dioxide and methane from hydroelectric power reservoirs. Neri is also actively involved in the area of atmospheric brown cloud, ABC, and its impact on water resources. At Neri, we strive hard to provide impact assessment for proposed developmental plans encompassing gigantic mountains to endless seas. Setu Samudram a prestigious EIA study document that is not only environmental friendly but will also save precious time and money for the shipping trade. Neri has carried out more than 100 such EIA studies varying from petroleum, coal, energy, chemicals, fertilizers, minerals, pharmaceuticals and the list goes on. But Neri does not stop. 
On one hand, we deal with the problems of today. And on the other, we discover the solutions we may need tomorrow. And NIRI EIA, Environmental Impact Assessment, makes that better than anyone else. Kalpasar is another prestigious project in Gujarat that envisages freshwater conservation is a subject for detailed scope of EIA studies conducted by NIRI recently. How can we bridge the gap, gap between available technology, financial regulations, environment regulations and help the industries to comply with the, all the existing regulations? We deal with all medium of environment, air, water, land. We are doing apportionment study for better air quality in Delhi and Mumbai. We are looking at how to improve the water quality or augment the water resources, how to improve the degraded land. So we have many projects, R&D as well as service oriented projects, catering to all the stakeholders. We also provide substantial part of our services for an environmental impact assessment. Whenever there is a new project, we provide services to industries in evaluating the environmental impacts the proposed project will have and how to counter those impacts through appropriate environment management plan. This is one of our major areas and activities of Navy. We still have a, a problem of finance. There are many institutions to provide finance and but the technologies have to be affordable. Again Navy comes into play by developing an appropriate technology for Indian conditions because many of the imported technologies may not work for Indian conditions. So we need to develop affordable technologies for Indian conditions. So we work with the network with other institutions and regulators to develop appropriate technologies for Indian conditions and Indian situations. Looking at new vistas to understand nature better, experiments at NIRI are on to develop environmental genomics for precision in understanding and combating the environmental intricacies of nature. Detection and concentration of E. coli and human enteric viruses based on PCR and gene probe has been successfully developed at NIRI where more than 1050 bacteria from isolates have been identified leading to the creation of a culture bank with the help of 16S R DNA sequence data. Exploring further on the same principle, NIRI has developed a genomic tool to monitor subtle impacts caused by the industrial development that may have long-term effects and can be monitored at the microbial level using selected genomic tools. The growing population in India has indeed given us strength. But this also leads towards huge production of solid waste. Efficient management and safe disposal being the prime focus, the Solid Waste Management Division has spread its wings in developing a GIS or Geographical Information System based approach for large localities. It has also developed a two-phase biomethanation approach. Exploring new horizons NIRI's research to find environmental friendly materials has resulted in the development of novel functionalized materials for carbon dioxide captured from flue gases to help reduce energy loads, target oriented zeolite analogues for monitoring and control strategies for organotoxins and the development of advanced thermal and photocatalytic material nanostructured zeolites for artificial photosynthesis vis-a-vis -vis control of greenhouse gases which will result in an alternate route for non-renewable energy sources 
and will allow sunlight harnessing for environmental applications. Extensive research is being carried out to develop smart nanomaterials and catalytic materials to combat hazardous diesel exhaust emissions and reduction of nitrogen oxide by hydrocarbons. Mathematical modeling of environmental systems using state-of-the-art hardware and software at NERI is one of the very important tools in evolving a solution for environmental management. Scientists at NERI have developed GIS-based computational software for prediction studies of different environmental pollutants. Remote sensing satellite image analysis tools are also extensively employed by NERI for land use analysis and planning. I'm very happy today that industry is willing to pay, industry is willing to spend. You will be, if you go around, you will be happy to see many common effluent treatment plants. Many plants with environment protection control and units for air pollution control, units for wastewater treatment. And these are all happening with huge investment. There are CATPs with additional investment of over 45 crores. This was not happening a few years ago. Now most of the CATPs are using even tertiary treatment to recycle water. More than 90% of the water is recycled in some of the textile industries and the leather industries which were considered to be very polluting industries. I'm very happy that such developments are taking place but it does not happen throughout India. Still implementation is not adequate. So we need to do more. We need to work with them very closely and closure is not the solution. We need to work with them, facilitate their implementation with an affordable cost in a sustainable manner. And that's why I say we work towards sustainable development. Some future areas of research at NIRI include development of digital water quality monitors and membrane technology for wastewater recycle and reuse. NIRI has recently bagged some of the prestigious national and international projects with agencies like IOCL, NTPC, Kalpasar, WHO, EPA and ALCOA of the United States. Team NERI is marching ahead with full vigor and vitality under its present leadership towards achieving sustainable development.